Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a bad library in now, watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Ayy, ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Smash the like button. That's all I got to say, bro. I can guarantee you, if you liked yesterday's video, you going to love today's video too, bro. Mo Comp, man. We going against pro player uh, Shift God Cole, man. So I ain't going to say too much. Just make sure you smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you new. You know what I'm saying? Head on over to YouTube nights and use cold form for 6% off all your muck coin needs. If you went to the parlays, head on over to uh, Prospects and use cold form. We got sponsorships out here, Doggy Bone. I'm trying to get to the pepperoni and cheese. Appreciate y'all Madden tournament this weekend on me, man. Let's get it. What's happening, Doggy Bone, man? Unk got y'all back, man. We, we, Hey, look. For all my mutt heads, man, head over to utnights.com, bro, and use code FORM for 6% off all your mutt coin needs, man. It's simple. Go ahead over there. Click on how many coins you want, bro. 200 coins for $11. Hit that pay now. Slide over there and use code form and get your muck coins on, doggy bone. Stop being broke out here, man, and build the God squad that you deserve. The God squad Jesus wants you to have, man. Again, utnights.com for all of your muck coin needs, man. Use code form and help me get this little Skrilla, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What would you do if your son was at home? Crying alone on the bedroom floor because he's hungry. And the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man for a little bit of money in your daddy home. Hey, boy, that song was so good, man. We were laughing at Shorty. She begging for help, selling Cootie Cat to get get Shorty some McDonald's. Hello, good brother. Let me talk to you for a second, man. You tired of grabbing your baby mama tax money and flipping it on parlays, and then you lose it all? Then she get to whooping your ass and throwing you up out the spot? Now you homeless again, Dougie? It's hella cold this winter. So do a favor and come on over here to Prize Picks. Use code form to get up to a hundred percent deposit match up to your hundred bucks. Again, that's cold form, man. We got uh times twenty five flex where you can win up to twenty top twenty five times the amount. That's gonna get you a cut a cutlass supreme and some twenty twos on that boy. You gonna be shining with your homeless ass. Come on over here to Prize Picks, doggy bone, to use cold form. Man, that's so crazy, man. But what up, though, Dougie Bone? We back. I got a banger for y'all. Um, I feel like um, this offense that I played is probably the best under center offense I've played all year. I didn't already forgot the name of it, but we playing Shift God Cole, pro player. You will not hear any disrespect on dog name this whole video. Uh, for y'all who don't know, uh, y'all don't remember, it was a mutt, it was a Madden tournament. A few years back where the, the crazy dude blicked up the tournament. This is one of the individuals who was hit. He was hit twice in the chest during that tournament. So, you know what I'm saying? Be all, most due respect for Dog and everybody who was uh, hurt and lost their lives during that tournament, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we uh, I played him once last year. It's on the channel. And then uh, we played again this year. And he came out running this 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 craziness, bro. Single back Y off trio. And one thing, bro, I have noticed, bro. If you run into a pro, a pro player, if they run in anything off meta, that shit is glitchy. If they are running anything off meta, my boy, you in for hell. Because a pro not just going to hop in something off meta if it ain't something glitchatorial about it. 
You know what I'm saying? Then you'll notice when he motions uh, the the out wide guy, it, it it do something. And whether you man him up or whatever the hell you do, that should have been picked by my boy Fleon. Regardless of what you do, that little route to Roddy White gets wide the hell open, even when it's manned up. He does have a slot. I mean, uh, inside. Uh, what is it called? Short inside. Short ain't shorty in the lead. So I'm manning him up, even though I shouldn't be, because he's going to kill man coverage because I don't have an inside shade. You know what I'm saying? So you'll see early, I'm like, all right, so I can't really blitz this formation. If I do, as you can see, he kills me with the corner right. If I do choose to blitz this formation, it's going to have to be selective blitzes in spots where he's not going to expect it or he's going to cook me. He does a lot of flipping, but flipping don't really bother him. Uh, my defense particularly. You see, he motions him over, and then look at that shit, bro. It's like they just back off, dog. Right here, we play good defense, and we force the double coverage throw. And my nigga, Fleon Sanders, the newly gotten, gonna let the ball hit him in the back, man. Ugh. So coming back out, we force the one bad throw. We force another one. And that's two back-to-back -back picky D's, man. Back-to-back. -back. You know you in trouble if you give up back-to-back. -back. So now he goes to the empty tray stack. We play d good defense. And look at that shit. Alright, look. It was I clicked on, bro. But I tried to break it up. I didn't even try to go for the pick, man. This nigga dolphin dived, bro. Do we not play like you not going for a nuke? Nigga dolphin dived out of bounds, man. Where my glasses? My damn eyes hurt, man. Ah, oh. oh, that feel better blocking out the Blu-rays. All right, so coming back out, you know what I'm saying? We gotta go down to get seven because I have not quite figured out how to stop his offense. And uh, the first time you play against a lot of stuff, is, it's low-key difficile. That's French. Unk took say in high school. It's hella difficile to uh, stop. So, um, I, I just need to go, you know what I'm saying, boom for boom. And as the game goes on, my adjustments will get better. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll get a good, clear idea of his tendencies. And then I might be able to put together a stop. Right now, we just going to take off with Aaron Rodgers and run for 92,000 yards. Come on, man. Aaron Vic, man. Your team ain't shit this year, but you're hoop, you, boy, you're hooping for um. I say, I say you're playing the foosball for me, baby. So, of course, he's in dollar like everybody. His dollar, he's not sending a lot of pressure initially. But I'm like, that's going to change because if you don't send pressure against Dollar, I'm going to go ahead and get the whooping your stank ass. Uh, right there he ends up. He has two mid-zone KOs on the left. So when I know, I'm like, okay, mid-zone. So he's going to be in the hook a lot of the time, a hook curl. His corner is going to be in the curl. I mean, a cloud flat playing around 10 to 15 yards. All right, so for the most part, this is going to be a, a, a lot of cover two shell, a lot of match defense. So now I know where I where I need to attack them and where I need to stay away from. I've been working on some different setups out of empty. You'll see one of the setups, particularly for that cover two shell match defense, um, coming up later. And by and by working on, I've been working on that shit in game because I'm not hitting practice for nothing. So again, right here he sends that pressure. Y'all know how glitchy Dollar is with them dudes coming off that far in. The left tackles or right tackles sometimes don't recognize them. So uh, you might you can get you can get pressure with four. A lot of times you might have to block six just to pick up the pressure against four. It's trash, but it is what it is. Again, as you can see, we don't even see dog. I could have hit my flat, but why hit the flat when I could try to throw a touchdown? Does it make sense? Hell no. So right here, I know he's gonna send five. Um, I'm I, I know, but I know Randy Mobile gonna cook off this little route combo. And as the pressure gets through, Randolph Ezekiel Humberg Moss, man. He don't he don't be telling a lot of niggas his name Humberg because y'all be talking crazy, man. Yeah. 
Secret middle name, Randy Humberg Moss, man. For real. So coming back out, he runs the ball. I'm not, kinda, I'm such a hystic horse. I'm not too concerned about the run. Like I know I got, I got, I could shoot the gap of swords as you can see, and we gonna play some run D. The only thing I'm worried about is that little motion with uh flat that that gets up underneath all coverages regardless, and uh Roddy White. Everything else I feel like I could play good defense against. Right there, I just get quick uh hike, but we still play good defense. And we get the saccharoni and cheese with big big boy Seymour. So coming back out, I'm going to man up uh the slot and I'm gonna man up the tight end, and then I'm gonna send pressure. He 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 blocked six and we was there, bro. Really good defense, but uh, Palamalalala ends up bumping in the, uh, the safety, I want to say. No, the cornerback, and he can't get there. So, again, he comes out, cooks Deion Sanders, bro. Cook my boy Fleon. That short end elite is going to cook every time on that corner route. Like, for the most part, because route tech costs so much AP, short end elite is the route tech this year. You know what I'm saying? So... Right here, he motions. As you can see, the purple bites inside, and he just highballs it. Picks up a good yard. Eight of 11. His three incompletions are those interceptions that I dropped on the first drive. Again, he throws it again. That time, I double Mabel on that side. Now, when he eventually what I'm thinking about doing is when he motions across, I'll put that corner on the flat because usually when he motions across, right there, that should have been a pick. When he motions across, he puts the motion guy on like a post route crosser or something like that. But right here, I'm at the point where I'm like, all right, if I hold him to three, I'm in a good position because I get ball at half. So it's like, all right, I'm not too much going to worry about that. I don't feel like I'm going to give up a tug. I feel like he's had to work for everything that he's got offensively. Uh, right here, we're going to go uh, third and then hook him for Carmichael. That hook curl is for a Carmichael because I noticed he brought him in. Which means, one, this nigga got everybody in the world on his team. That should have been a pick. Like, the, the sub in a whole new group of legends is crazy, bro. So, we're going to go right back to the same thing because we just dropped another pick. Uh, right there, we played a corner out beautifully. And my boy get another saccharoni and cheese. And we hold him to three. That was really good defense. If I could play defense like that in the other half, I'm, the other half, the second half, uh, we going to be in a good spot, bro. Uh, we just got to make sure we stay clean offensively. And what I mean by stay clean, don't give up no damn uh, interceptions. Move the ball. Be consistent. My biggest thing is I can't be stubborn because y'all know I love being stubborn. Right here, if, if Megatron 92, 93 speed, he get up out of there. Only thing I'm waiting on, excuse me, is another tall wide receiver to come out and, and maybe he'll replace Megatron, but Megatron been so good for me, bro. So right here, I knew he wasn't sending pressure. We go ahead and hit the underneath route. Uh, I'm hoping we get a, a Cordero Patterson tomorrow. Because he, he broke some type of record. I wasn't paying no attention. I don't really give a shit unless it's about cards, bro. For real. I don't give a damn what you do in the NFL. Is it going to get me a mutt card, my boy? If I, is I'm finna benefit? And look at this. Oh, 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 Jay Witty with the stick of liciousness. And now it's just about getting one stop, bro. What a delicious... After this, I'm going to go in there and cook me up a little grill, uh, grill Caesar salad and eat swell and, and edit, this, edit this video up, bro. Now, as you can see right here, I have a decent idea of what I want to do to kind of stop the pass. Right there, he subs in Maurice Jones. He does have a Legends theme team. Um, I know I, I got a good idea. As you can see, I'm vert, I got a lot of vert hooks on the field because he likes to run a lot of crossers. And they're not like deep crossing routes. They're like like mid, mid crossing routes. You see I'm playing heavy on the right side of the field. 
Um, right here, I know for a fact, you know what I'm saying? It's Corner Right City, Corner Route City up in here. But he hits me with the uh, running back streak. And they fixed the running back streak because I knew it was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to go through the line. Now it's back to being an out and up uh, outside of the line, which gives me a lot more time to get to it with my user. I just wasn't expecting it. So right there, I end up putting my uh, my regular cover three shell in my audibles. Just in case he does that audible again, I can reset quickly and then reset the defense. Right here, we end up sending everybody because I knew he, he, he was going to run. I wanted to blow that up in the backfield. Uh, wide nine is very, very good run D, bro. You just got to, like, if you've gone through my ebook, I'm very detailed, bro. Just follow detail. And sometimes you might need to put your own little spin on it. Right here, he uh, audible down to, I think that's Trey Over tries to run the ball. But, like I said, I'm not really worried about the run. I play, I play, I feel like Unk play real good run D. So right here, I'm fin, I'm finna send him. Right here, I, uh, he, he goes back to Trey off. I'm like, all right, bet. It's fourth down. I know he's gonna do the same thing. He ended up, uh, the quarter ended up ended. So I know he's gonna do the same thing. So I flat, I got my, no, I go hook, uh, three wreck. Let me run that back, y'all. I go three wreck because I'm thinking I can cover those flats. And then if he tries to quick throw something over the middle, I got that lurker right there who can play that. So that's why I go three wreck right there. He tried to quick throw a wheel, but no. We got flat zone KO on Deion Sanders, and we get the turnover, bro. Uh, for m most people in that situation, when you're in a tough game, you're not looking up the field like that. You know what I'm saying? And I knew that. So I wanted to send the pressure and see if I could just get him to force something real quick out of his hands when he see them dudes coming off the edge. Right there, I hit him over top. And uh, quick note for y'all on this, bro. Watch how um, Will and Bates inside on this inside uh, release on this fade route. So as soon as he does that, you see Will and playing inside. I know he's in a cloud. He's been in a cloud at about 10 to 15 all game. So the moment he baits inside, because he hadn't really been baiting like that, which means uh, because he sent him, he might have shaded inside or something. Well, no, that would be shading outside. Shading outside. So he he pushes in. The moment he does that, I know it's cover two. The deep safety up top right above Megatron, he doesn't rotate. Well, he doesn't roll coverage toward the sideline, which means he's still in the deep half. So I know I just got to wait a second. I got fearless, so I'm not worried about the pass rush on the left. Hence why I sent out all my routes. I just have to wait for him to get past that, probably that first down marker. I'll be able to high ball that over the top. So that's what I've seen against this coverage. His uh, user was just sitting in the middle, just waiting to pick something off. And as you can see, actually, he manned up right there. Okay. So he manned up Megatron and played him inside. So right here, this is the new uh, thing I've been working, uh, I've been messing around with out of when I see these cover two match sets. If you run empty, this for you. Um, smoke screen on the left to hold that uh, cloud flat, and then I motion over that vertical route, and for and that vertical route can get over top. Now if he's blitzing like most have. It's just a read strictly on the left side of the field. If he's in a third on that right side, I can hit Randy Moss on there. Uh, Jones Drew is the check down. So uh, the reads on this play are not good yet because I just started running it like a couple days ago and I kept playing against cover two match. So, uh, yeah, that's what we running right here. And uh, as you can see, that shit is highly effective. I had the crosser, but his I didn't expect his user to drop for Maurice Jones Drew. So I didn't throw the crosser because I thought Palomalala was going to go back up. So I'm going to end up going back. But as you can see, that shit really does a number on cover two match uh, defenses. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that I run every time because when you motion over uh, witness, kind of a dead giveaway what you what you doing. So I need to find some more route combos and concepts where I'm motion over Witten 
to kind of diffuse, confuse the defense as I go to the big boy uh, corner route, but it get knocked out. So as I'm playing uh, other games, I'll, I'll start implementing more stuff where I'm motioning over with and, and see what I get out of it. Uh, right here, we're going to go right back to it, though. We're going to motion over with I know he's going to send the pressure. And uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna just make the same exact reads. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So this time, look at J look how Jay Witten cooks. But I hit the inside guy. I had a step. I high ball it. He don't have a knockout right there. That's not a medium uh, zone. So he doesn't get the knockout. We score. But like I said, I don't expect my reads to be super clean right there, bro. For real, for real. Cause I I get to whooping your ass for real. Give it, give give me give me a while to get used to that. How the defense react, man. But but Witten cooked that. He was so open. No clue why he manned up Megatron, though. I guess he thought I was going to White Curl. This is my fault, bro. Boy, let me show y'all what the hell I did. Watch how many times I bump ho uh, Hooker. I knock Hooker from dropping back for a good two, three seconds, bro. I have Woodson in the uh, outside third, so he's not going to play inside. So he gets the clean release. My, I'm beating the hell out of my uh, my, my uh, middle third. So he never even had a chance to drop back and play any type of coverage. So that was my fault. Uh, just, just user and doing the most. I wasn't covering shit. So we gave up the one play tug, which I detest. Like that's my pet peeve, because I let him back in the game. Now I gotta go down here and get seven. Worst case scenario, three and play D. If I gotta get, if I if I get to a situation where I have to take my bad. If I get to a situation where I gotta take three, I'm editing that shit out. I'm editing that shit out. I don't care if y'all. Hey, if it's a piece of the play that's missing out. No, I said I'm, I got I got mumble mouth than a mug. I'm editing that shit out, bro. What happened was I threw it up to my double me and he ain't get it. That's crazy what I said, bro. Hey, I'm not finna let y'all tease me. Not over that. Not over what I said. Hell no, I man. Oh my god. Please let me remember. For, double me, double me, edit out. Double me, edit out. All right. I'll never tell y'all what I said, too, bro. That shit was crazy. All right, so coming back out, I'm a motion in to block Waller right there. Ah, that shit crazy. <laughs> and I'm just looking for the corner route, but I don't have nothing. So I take off with 80, negative 80 speed uh, Aaron Raw Jairs. Fourth and ten. Y'all know I'm going for it. So what I do right here is I motion in because I don't want him to man up Waller. So I want to motion in just to make him think that I'm actually blocking him. Because usually when I motion Waller in a block, he doesn't uh, send pressure. He just puts zones out there because he know when I motion in uh, Waller, I can pick up his blitz. So he goes coverage. So, uh... Yeah, I just put him on that corner route, and I and I hit him right over the top. I know he doesn't roll coverage with a deep third on that side, and I know his cloud flat is sitting at about 10 to 15. So I know if I, the farther I motion him in, the easier job he'll have getting over top of that coverage, and it'll give me the more space to throw that. Right here, I'm making him think I'm going to the vertical uh, joint that I hit him with last time. Uh, but I'm not. Uh, he actually plays really good defense right there. I hit the drag route. I could have hit that um, Murray Jones drew route. I knew he was baiting me, but he, he kind of was slow on it. So right here, I'm like, all right, I'm going to audible down the single back deuce. And I'm going to run the rock. How my nose gets stuffy all of a sudden? I had to uh, call a TL because I didn't have stretch in my audibles of uh, deuce close. So right here, uh, I should get hella weak boxes as, oh my God, he he punished him. But I want to say, I don't know which lineman that was did a really bad job of holding his block. Whoever it was is fired, just know that. And now I'm at a point where he hasn't called a timeout because he, he knows if he would have called it on the first down, 
it would have kind of uh, been GG's. So he kind of waits to after the first down to burn his first TO. Um, again, I called a timeout because I didn't have the audibles I wanted in goal line. This is going to be a situation where I run the ball three times and I kick three. Because with the one thing I've learned, bro, I'll give you time, but I'm not giving you timeouts. Ad catching is way too good this year to allow someone to sit in the uh, sit in the pocket, throw the ball up, get completions, and stop clock. If you going to ag me, my nigga, I need that clock to be running. Because if you ag me, more than likely you're going to land in bombs. So for me, with eggs being so crazy, it's not shit I can do about it. It's not something I can control. I would much rather take all your timeouts and leave you strictly with time. 36 seconds is more than enough time to do something with the ball. He'll probably, yeah, and so if he can ag me and stay in bounds and win the game, then cool. I just got to keep you in bounds twice. If I keep you in bounds twice, that's game. So right here he goes, stack. I'm like, you can stack all the hell you want. I'm blitzing you. I'm a man up Waller with Fleon Sanders. You can motion him over all you want to. If you want to throw that flat route, my boy, you 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 are more than welcome. Right here, he tries to um, high ball it. He doesn't get his feet in bounds. Idea outside third right there. So I wish uh, Haynes would have played that a lot better. But that's cool. Uh, he loses seven seconds or something like that. So now I got to just keep him in bounds once. That's it, bro. So like I said, I'm going to keep sending seven, bro. Keep sending seven. Right here, I make a mistake. And I look how I bring Chin down. on the, uh, When he flipped, I didn't move Chin to the left side. So when he throws that route, he hits him right in the seams on the money. If I put Chin back in the middle of the field... Uh, as we leave him with eight seconds, if I put Chen back in the middle, Chen defends that very well. You know what I'm saying? So that's a really bad mistake. I'm so focused on a blitz that I don't. My attention to detail was a little off right there. Again, right here, um, I'm going to man up that backside guy because that's the one who hurts you the most side of stack. So I'm gonna man him up third on the uh, right side, and then I'm gonna run with Darren Wilder. The goal is just to keep him in bounds. He hits me with a corner route that I was not expecting and he gets out of bounds. What that's going to do is give him a very realistic chance to moss the hell out of me. You know what I'm saying? I have I played uh, bend and don't break defense, but I wouldn't say I played the best defense, though. You know what I'm saying? So right here is just sin seven. Sin seven, um, and this nigga subs in, like, his tall squad. He subs in his tall boys. I know it's going to Carmichael. I know it. So I man up Waller, and look at look at look what Carmichael does, bro. You see how he pushed this nigga, bro? Did you see that? Look how he pushes him out the way, bro, and slows his momentum. Move, little nigga. But we knocked it out, oh ass nigga. Let's get it, Carmichael. You a mark for that, bro. So we end up knocking the ball out. Uh, thank goodness, deep zone KO uh, activated, and we end up picking up the win, bro. But appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, and I get at y'all tomorrow, doggy bone. Peace.